Hello everyone, welcome to this video series talking about the history of the Church of St. Nicholas, how parts of our architecture refer to the broader theology of our church, and how we can see our faith in our building as well. I hope you enjoy this series and thank you for watching. Welcome back everyone to this video a series on the history of St. Nicholas. Uh, my name is Father John Powers. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Uh, today we want to talk about bells. Now, bells may seem like a weird thing to talk about. Uh, I mean, they're just after all bells. You ring them, and that's about it. But bells have a very ancient history that goes back uh, even to before uh, the Christian faith. The bells were used in worship in ancient Judaism. Uh, the, in particular, the uh, robes, the vestments of the high priests of, Ju of Israel were embroidered with bells so that when people would hear the ringing of those bells, they would know that, the, that he is coming. Bells were used uh, to signify the presence of God and to remind us all that, you know, hey, there's something happening here that we need to pay attention to. So in addition to this sacristy bell, which we ring at the start of liturgies, uh, daily Mass, and on Sunday Mass, now that we're not processing from the back anymore, but processing from the side. We also have Sanctus bells, bells that we ring at the consecration to help remind us of God's presence and to help us pay attention to things that are going on. But in addition to these bells, which you can only hear when you're inside a church, we have larger bells up in our bell tower. Now those bells are a lot more interesting than these bells are because those bells are blessed in a very solemn rite that while well, you still can do to this day whenever you get new bells but the rite of blessing bells is very similar in many ways to the rite of baptism and just like us bells get names when they're blessed names that remind us of their purpose of drawing us closer to God. And bell, bells are there to remind us of that presence of God. So that whenever we hear these bells, whenever we use our senses, you and I are called to draw closer to the Lord. Now, I really should go up there and show you the bells, but I have a, not really a path of crippling, but definitely a healthy, we'll say, a fear of heights. So I enlisted a uh, Father Vandenberg, you to go up and to talk to you all and to show you the bells that are up in the belfry here at St. Nicholas. Hello everyone, we're up here in the bell tower at St. Nicholas. We have three wonderful bells. We have St. Joseph and Mary, and the big one is Jesus. So we're going to go ahead and ring these for you here quick. I don't want to ring them too hard, it's really actually hard on your ears being this close to the bells when they ring. but. Here we go. senses to help us grow in that faith that we have been so blessed to receive. 
So thank you all for watching, and I hope to talk to you next time. Thank you all so much for watching these videos. If you have any ideas or suggestions for future video series, please contact us at the parish office, and God bless. Thank you.